Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a handbag rehab, so I'm excited to fix up this bag with you guys. But first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor videos, and handbag rehabs, and cooking, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here, and check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see what I for sale for my thrifting adventures. Um, and also, quick disclaimer, I am not a professional handbag repair person or anything. These are just tips and tricks that I learned along the way of um, my time thrifting and flipping things and reselling. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. This is a Michael Kors bag that I thrifted from a store um, for the low, low price of just $3.98. So got a great deal on this guy. Um... And it's beautiful. I think this is a Michael Kors collection bag. So it's not Michael by Michael Kors. It's um, Michael Kors collection, which is more expensive than the other ones. Uh, so this is crazy that I got it for so cheap. Because normally this thrift store is really good about um, noticing these sorts of things. But the Michael Kors collection bag is a little bit more understated. And don't have like that big MK dongle that their bags like the Michael by Michael Kors bags normally have and those bags are usually priced a lot more expensive so this one is more subtle just has the Michael Kors on the hardware right there on the button and also on the bottom of the feet and um the interior it really only has the Michael Kors like little tag I don't know if you can see that little tag right there inside it's on there so anyway enough of that so Soft yarn leather is great. It is such a, what's the word, um, a robust type of leather. It's great for holding its shape, holding its structure. It's uh, really nice um, for being resistant to stains, scratches, water, and all that. And this bag is fantastic because it's actually Safiano inside and out. The outside is a white. The inside is a beautiful contrasting navy color, which I really like. And then it has silver hardware. So as you can see, the bag just has some dirt marks on it, really. Nothing like too intense. So we're going to be cleaning this bag up today. There's, I think the most dirt on it is probably on the bottom, which is right there. Um, it has, I don't know, some dark marks and some other miscellaneous things that are on it. And along with like the front, there's like some marks right there like on top of the pocket and all that. So we're going to be cleaning this up together. It should be really fun, really straightforward and really easy. Uh, normally, these are, like, for, as far as if, I, if I'm just doing a superficial cleaning of the leather, um, and I, like, I will just use this product normally, which is the Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion from Cadillac. Uh, this is great because it lifts, and it also conditions, so it lifts the dirt and stains from your bag, and, like, the superficial stuff that's just at the top layer, and then it also brings moisture and all that stuff back into the bag. So we're gonna use this, and then we're also gonna be using the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner if the stains are too tough. Um, I normally don't, well, I, I normally will use this only when something's like, if this isn't enough, this is like my second thing to go to to try to clean. Uh, they're, I don't know, they're both great at cleaning, fantastic. This one though can also dry out your item just a little bit, so then even after I use this, I will go back with a leather lotion, which is my favorite. I'm gonna have this Cadillac leather lotion link down below in the description box if you guys would like to purchase it uh this though the kiwi shoe cleaner uh you can just get this at target or walmart i think they even sell them at cvs and walgreens i think it's actually cheaper to just go to those places to buy them than ordering them online so yeah that's what i suggest so there's that okay so let's start off with our cadillac leather lotion i like to use a microfiber cloth i have this one right here and i will just apply the leather lotion directly to the cloth 
And this is how I start off um, cleaning any bag. I like to do this first. And then when things are more, like leather is more dry, I will actually apply the leather lotion directly to the leather and I will um, apply with my hands. I'll just let it sit there until all of the um, leather lotion just absorbs into the bag. And contrary to popular belief, soft yarn leather, you should also condition it still regardless um, of the type of leather. Even patent leather, you should also uh, condition that because all leather needs more moisture uh, otherwise they will eventually dry up and then you'll um, get color discoloration they're more susceptible to stains water stains dirt and scratches and all that stuff so let's start off here we're gonna try hitting up this stain right there uh, with the leather lotion it should just come off right away because it just very looks very superficial and there you go that just came right off there's a little bit of dark marks throughout but all of this stuff is lifting as well there's also this stuff right here on the sides also lifting off like a dream so very happy about that especially with white bags like sometimes you just get like a layer of like kind of like dirt just from the bag being used, from you touching the bag, or it like touching other stuff. So it's always a good idea to clean your white bags. And white soft yarn leather is um, so easy to clean too. Like if I was gonna get a white bag, it would probably be in soft yano, just because um, I would be less scared of it like getting dirty or anything. Though with white leather, any type of white leather, you still have to be uh, um, very careful to not um, to not get color transfer on it. So if you're wearing any sort of denim, especially like indigo denim or anything of like a like that type of finished leather with that sort of dye, you're going to want to make sure to not let your bag touch it for too long because it could absorb that color and then you're gonna have a mark on your bag. Now this part has a lot of like, looks like yellowing. As you can see, it's a lot yellower than the rest of the bag. That's because this is the part that you're probably touching when you are using the bag. Cause like you're holding it like this and then you're tightening it, tightening the drawstring. So it does have, looks like there is some yellowing, but hopefully we can get that out. And then if um, it doesn't come out with the leather lotion, I will hit it up with the shoe cleaner and hopefully that will lighten it right up. But it looks like we're gonna have to do it. So we're gonna do that later on once we're done cleaning up the rest of the bag. There is also, um, looks like a little color transfer right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a blue mark. Sometimes the leather lotion is enough. Sometimes you want to use something a little um, stronger on it. It did look, looks like it lifted a lot with the leather lotion. Oh yeah, I thought it, yeah. I think it pretty much all came out actually. I was gonna say we're gonna hit that up too with our, um, what's it called? Our shoe cleaner, but looks like we might not have to. There's also a lot of darkening along the corner edges of the bag. Again, like the top corners, that's where you're touching the bag the most. So those are the areas that are gonna have the most um, darkening, the most wear, and all of that stuff. So just wanna make sure to clean those areas. All right, looks good so far. Let's um, check out the back. Oh, the back actually, okay, the back has color. Do you see those lines right there? It's like brown almost. That is crazy. Let's see if we can get this out. And the only good thing about the these stains is that they're on the back side of the bag. So it's like when you're using it, it's not too noticeable. But again, always be wary about the back portion of your handbag because that's the portion that touches your clothing and stuff the most 
and clothing can discolor your handbags and transfer color just like what happened to this one so i did looks like it is getting lighter but there is still definitely some marking on there so we're going to try and hit that up with the shoe cleaner and hopefully that'll work let's try this other side now Another thing too that can discolor your handbags um, that I find a lot happening is um, is when you use self tanner. Self tanner can also do a number on your handbags as well and can definitely transfer color. So definitely be wary of when you're uh, of when you have self tanner on of your handbags too, just in case any of that color does transfer onto your bag because that is something that can definitely happen as well so you don't want that to happen i also find um when you have like bags that you carry like shoulder bags and the top of the bags get close to, like i know this is like a little tmi but like if you if a bag gets too close to like your armpit or something and you have some sort of like um, deodorant or antiperspirant and that gets on the leather of your bag it will also definitely discolor that as well so that's just another thing to think about when you are carrying your handbags like that okay then up next let's head up this bottom portion I'm just gonna apply this directly to the bag like that and then we're gonna go to town cleaning it I'm hoping to get all this stuff right off and it looks like most of it's just coming right off of the bag which is fantastic that is looking really good so it looks like the most um the primary thing we're gonna have to try to deal with is gonna be the back portion of the bag yeah that all just came off really nicely just a little bit more right there so i'm gonna add a little bit more conditioner right there hopefully get the rest of it off yep Ah, this stuff is like magic sometimes. It works so well. Okay, so uh, let's actually hit up this front portion right here. Let's try to clean up this like kind of yellowing right there. And I'm going to be using, again, like I said, the Kiwi Quick Dry Shoe Cleaner. I'm actually just going to stuff the bag a little bit. It might help. Ah, beautiful. Okay, fantastic. So, I'm just going to spray the foam on. And we're just going to let it sit because we're going to just let it percolate. Get it all over that front. And I'm literally just going to let it sit like that and let it kind of like work its magic on there. And there's a couple of spots right here that I see as well. I'm just going to let it sit on two that I missed. But we're just going to put this on to make it a little bit easier to clean off when we do our second round of just wiping stuff down. All right. I'm going to let all that stuff sit. You can also, uh, if you want, use one of these um, bristle brushes to like kind of brush it into the nooks and crannies but when the foam kind of starts to like go down a little bit it will just naturally go into those little nooks and crannies anyway so it's a-okay so i'll be back with you guys in a little bit once this is kind of like um done sitting on the leather for a few minutes and then i'll see how much we get off all right you guys it's been a little bit so i'm just going to come back right here and to wipe off all of these guys first. And they look fantastic. Swipe this off right there. 
Alright, now let's see if this got any lighter. Sometimes you're kind of like stuck with it because yellow, like white, um, the white, like leather, anything, patent or, uh, Safiano, it likes to hold on to this kind of stuff. So that's why you always want to just keep it as clean as possible. Uh, and clean it every so often while you're using it before you put it away. So that way that dirt doesn't get a chance to just like sit there. But you know what? It looks like it did a pretty solid job. Right? It's a lot lighter than it was. So that is good. I might come back with, um, we'll actually try it on the bottom so that we're not trying it on the top. But I also do want to try this. This is a little bit more advanced of a thing to use, but this is the Angelus Leather Prepare and Deglazer. Um, you can also use rubbing alcohol or a nail polish remover to do this step, which I actually do recommend on top of, like, instead of using this first. But I do not have any left. And I was going to buy some, and I totally haven't had a chance to go out and get any, so I'm going to try... It's dry so quickly sometimes. I was like, is it still there? Yeah, this is going to work. Look at that. That's definitely making it a lot whiter again. And getting that stuff off. It's probably not even showing up that much on camera, but in real life it looks a lot better. So, that is fantastic. Love it. Okay, so there's that. Now let's um, go on to the back of the bag and see what we can do about that color transfer back there. Um, again, we're going to try this first. So I'm just going to let it sit on here. And I'm actually going to apply that twice. So first I'm just going to kind of push that into the stain. Push that in. Might as well just get the whole back area while I am at it. Okay, so push that in, and then we're just gonna hit it one more time with the cleaner. And again, we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I'm, <laughs> I've kinda let it sit for a really long time, and it's like almost nothingness, but Let's see if it did the job. Okay, this side is a lot lighter now. Whereas this side... Also is getting a lot lighter. It definitely is still there. Okay, now I'm going to try... Am I going to try it? Do I dare? Yes, I think so. We're going to try using that, um, the deglazer on this as well and see how much we can get off of this. So, alright, here's the deglazer. Now, you always want to use this stuff sparingly too. Because this is definitely a strong uh, product. And if you use it too intensely, it might actually remove, like, the paint. So, let's start right here. Oh yeah, that is working beautifully.
Okay, it did lighten it a lot. It definitely is still there. So we're just gonna, especially because a soft piano has, um, like, uh, like a pattern to it, like a striation. It's gonna be harder to do this. But it is a lot lighter. Let's try the other side. I always um, switch out Q-tips too whenever I'm gonna dip into here. Cause I don't want it to get contaminated with any like dirt or um, like any dyes or paints or anything. Okay, so this side is like really dark, especially like right there. So let's see if we can lighten it. A little bit. I'm like literally holding my breath. I <laughs> Whenever I do this, I'm always like, oh my gosh, is the paint going to come off? That's why, like, I'm, I always, like, this is something that you have to be very careful with using because it can remove your paint. But look at that. It is so much lighter. Am I right? Like, look at that. It's, like, almost gone on this side. Okay, let's try to hit up this side just like one last time and see if we can get even more of this out. I even notice that there's some down here at the corner a little bit. Let's actually do the corner first. Right now. And see what we can do about that. Okay, that is a lot lighter. But I don't think we're ever gonna get them completely out without um, possibly removing the actual color of the leather. So I think that might be the most we're gonna be able to do. But I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more because we only hit that side up once. Okay, and now let's wipe this stuff off and see how clean we got it. So there's this side. Sorry, I'm like not even in frame sometimes. Okay, this is so much lighter than it was. And I think this might be the lightest we're gonna get it. If normally if you can catch this like really early, like um, same day or even like a day or two after you get like a stain set in, then you can probably clean it right off like all the way. But there's just some t like some sometimes like these stains, especially from the thrift, you don't know how long these stains have been sitting on the leather for. And these will not come out at all, like, unless you're, like, literally stripping all the paint off. Or if you just paint over it. But, um, yeah. I don't think this bag really warrants repainting, especially because this is just on the back. And honestly, it's not that noticeable. It's, like, in the folds of the bag itself. So when the bag is, like, kind of folded, you really cannot tell too much. 
that um, the stains are there. So I think it'll be okay. And for for four bucks, that I mean, this is still a deal. The front looks pretty darn good. And yeah, we are all set. That is pretty much all we're going to do for the handbag rehab of this little guy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and learned a few things about how to clean your leather bags. Let me know if you guys have any questions like down below in the, script, in the comment box and I'll try to answer all of those. Um, but if you guys try out any of these tutorials or anything, send me a DM on Instagram. Show me your progress or tag me on Instagram. I'd love to share it with the rest of the Thirst Squad as well. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to tune in tomorrow bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. The vlog is up at 11. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye!